I'm really lucky because I came from a family where um, it just didn't really occur to me that the fact that I was a girl growing up would stop me from doing anything in particular. You know, I loved physics, I loved mechanics and engineering. Uh, when I did my undergraduate, I took a class where we studied the evolution of behavior. And for the first time, I realized that actually um, evolution impacted not just our bodies and our physical world, but it could impact how we behave. And that we could study the evolution of our own behavior by looking at the behavior of humans and other species and using that to trace back down our evolutionary tree. Uh, balancing work and life outside work as a field primatologist who's going to spend six, eight months a year in the middle of a remote rainforest can be quite difficult. But I think one of the things that makes my life much easier right now is just the technology is changing. So I have 3G internet in the middle of the rainforest sometimes when I go to work and that can mean that balancing the work that I love and having a life outside of work is a little bit, it's certainly easier for my generation I think. I do actually think it helps to be a fairly short woman as a primatologist, as a field primatologist. Chimpanzees are suspicious. They're always a little bit kind of one eye open, what are you doing? And I think they're much more relaxed to have me around when I first meet them. Um, the only key thing is to make sure that you're working with somebody who is taller than you so that they take the spider webs out as you go through the forest together first. <laughs>